this is a photo from uh, before the eruption. And we are now standing here. And this is the lagoon I was talking about earlier. <laughs> 40 meter deep. And now it's all filled up with uh, volcanic gas. Mm. And uh, you can easily see how high the ice was here if you look up, up in the cliff. And uh, we were very lucky. We, we, we heard some sound from the glacier. So and this is very much what is going on. The glacier is moving forward now. And uh, it's a lo lot of the snow on the top who, who is pushing the ice down. And uh, the last uh, years we have had a lot of snow, snow up in the glacier. Like last winter was uh, probably the hardest winter here for the last 30 years. Hmm. A lot of extreme cold, a lot of snow and a lot of extreme weather. So the climate changes, we don't see so much of that in Iceland, but we see some uh, heavy duty changes in the weather systems. Like uh, there was one storm per week for like uh, seven weeks. That is not normal. Like one heavy duty storm. It's, uh, you know, your hurricanes in the States, yeah. they end up here. And, uh, but here they are not hurricanes like that, it's only very strong wind. So. So yes, we see some changes in the well system. But Eyjafjallajökull, uh, uh, I told some of you uh, this uh, eruption in 2010, it was a very tiny little cute tourist attractive eruption. It was very beautiful. It was no dis disaster following. But uh, the history of Iceland is uh, loaded of stories about disaster following eruptions. But uh, after this eruption in 2010, uh, there were only a few farms south of the crater who had some bad situation out of that eruption. And, uh, and after the eruption, uh, the, we found out very soon this volcanic ash was a very good fertilizer for the ground. They just made the volcanic ash even on the ground and the vegetation started to grow immediately. So that time we were very lucky. That is not always the option, usually it's the opposite. Uh, fluor poison and sulfur poison and uh, a lot of trouble for the, for the life. And uh, Eyjafjallar yogurt is a two kilometer wide caldera, 100 meter deep, 200 meter deep, uh, but it's open here to the north. So when we have an eruption uh, in the glacier, starting with melting the ice and causing a flash flood, who goes, who they go here out of the glacier and to the river and then down to the ocean. And uh, but, uh, this Eyjafjalla uh, Jökull is a very small one compared to the next one east of us, Katla. Katla is a 10 kilometer wide caldera, 700 meter deep and full of ice. And Katla is very much on time. It's gone 104 years since the last eruption, but the previous activity, has, has, uh, the last 10,000 years have been like uh, 50, 70 years between eruption and Katla. So Katla is very much on time. And when Katla goes off, the world will see something a lot more serious than only two weeks' trouble in the flight trophy. Yeah. I guarantee that. Yeah. <laughs>